Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right. Yep. Vols are going dark mode, and I think they're preparing in haunted house for Kentucky. It certainly appears that way. Uh, it's going to be very interesting at 745 tomorrow night. And this dark mode is going to be cool. It's going to be really cool, especially right here at Halloween. Let's get into this. Now, a lot of you have seen the uh, uniform and the way they're uh, turning our regular uniform into dark mode for uh, Halloween and, of course, for Kentucky. And Kentucky's having a tough time this year. Mark Stoops has done a good job there. He's having a bad year. They're three and five. They've lost several in a row. They're like, I think they've won two out of the last 13 games at home in the SEC. I mean, they're just, just, just tragically bad for them right now. And they're coming into Neyland. And we're going to be – when I tell you we're going to be waiting for them, I mean, it's going to be something. We cannot wait for the Wildcats to get there tomorrow night. I mean, we're pumped. And it's going to be a heck of a ball game. And the dark mode, here's a cool video that they came out with. And, of course, Josh Prey noticed it immediately. And it's like he gets jealous – that the Florida Gators don't have this type of uh, marketing, which I can understand. And he's uh, very torn between those two teams because he's a Florida Gator, but he does like the Vols as well. But here's his response to dark mode. Dealing volunteer prey, and I'm a Gator fan, but every Halloween, Tennessee do this. Every Halloween, they flicker their damn lights and they do this. They creative team, they marketing team, they editing team do this. They somehow went and got their version of, of, of Venom, and they put them in a video. How they do this, how they flip the script, how they make things happen, I do not know. But they do this every Halloween, and you know what? I'm going to admit it. I'm going to go in here and admit I won't want it. I want one of the black old because I want to walk around and be Halloween. I want to be trick or treat for somebody. I want to stand up in the room after breathing real hard, feeling like a damn. If my football uniform turned to vent every single year, they creative team, they social media team, do this, man. Look at this man. That man look like a 99 overall in every single video you play. Every single time. Every time he look like this, man. They always do. And look at the damn power T. Yeah, Josh Bray, it gets to him. But uh, anyway, I know uh, it should be a heck of an experience. And we're going to go over the injury report real quickly because Kentucky's, uh, they're in a bad spot, honestly. And this is Tennessee's uh, injury report. Of course, we knew about Thomas. We lost him in the uh, fall, in fall practice. Keenan Peely, who we recently lost, that, that was a tough one. Spillman's out, and then these got two guys are questionable. Kentucky has got a bunch of guys out. They've got defensive backs, a running back. They're uh, losing their best uh, outside linebacker. This J.J. Weaver's good. And they're also, of course, that key uh, offensive lineman. They're going to have to start a redshirt freshman in his stead, which is not good. And Mincy's the guy that's been uh, giving the Vols a bunch of grief about playing them, but he won't be in the game. And the list goes, I mean, that's a bunch of guys out. And they're not feeling too good in uh, Kentucky land about their chances, which is understandable. I mean, that's a bunch. And, of course, you know we need to do a wellness check on uh, Nick Roush, make sure he's okay. Let's see how he's thinking about the game. At least that's an orange you can kind of sit with. I just – I think it's cruel at the SEC to put the Tennessee game near Halloween. Like, it's, it's already – The good thing is, though – What would you like it to be, Nick? Never. Like, just like, <laughs> stop playing this godforsaken team. I'm sick of it. And then you're going to do their blackout? What do you think's going to happen? It's going to be bad. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess you could just black out. We, like yeah. that, that's the alternative. That's the only way you make it good. Because that is going to be – it's going to be a, a haunted house. Yes. yes. But I, it, would it surprise you if it was a close-ish? Yes, but there is no way if that defensive front play like it did the last two games. They will get housed, and it will be a style points game for Tennessee. Yeah. And I, I was thinking, kind of thinking that going into the Auburn game. That was my, like – well, uh, watch Wilcox just go out there and run like a badass, right? Like, let's get weird. Let's have just uh, expect the unexpected. It could end up being a good thing for Kentucky that things get weird. But if, what's weird about that Tennessee team is that they aren't winning with style points, as you said. Like, it, like it's not we're throwing it all around the yard. They're doing it with defense and running the damn ball. And – what did Auburn just do? Uh, That's the scary part because same problems they had against that Auburn front are going to be the same problems this week. Yeah. I just know something bad is going to happen. <laughs> huh? 
Yeah, I think they're seeing a haunted house uh, lining up for them. So this should be really fun. And for the folks that every once in a while, it's like, oh, why do they do this? It's a gimmick, blah, blah, blah. It's intimidating, folks. And it also gets our team excited. It gets our fan base excited. It's fun. It's entertainment. And a lot of people don't understand that football is not only a sport and it's a game that we love. It's also very entertaining. And when you take it up a notch, the way Danny White has done with uh, Josh Heupel and Tony Vitello and Rick Barnes and all the things they're doing over there, it's a party. And people get super excited. Well, all that energy flows into the team and out the team and back to the fans. And when you get that going in a whirlwind, it's an extremely hard place to play. Ask Alabama how it's been at Neyland. They've lost the last two times at Neyland, and that's a team we really struggled with until Josh Heupel got here. Florida. Ask Florida what it's like. We've won the last two. One team, we've really had their number. Even when they were better than us or at least as good during our down years, and they just they couldn't couldn't get the W's. So they're going into this, you know, limping, I guess you could say. And I'm looking forward to this game. I hope that Nico plays like he did in the second half of the Alabama game. If he does, this game will be a blowout. If he plays like the first half, then it could be a game. They could they could hang with us and uh, give us some trouble. But I just I think they're going to have a terrible time with our defense. That front seven's going to pin their ears back and whether it's Brock or whether it's Gavin they're going to go after them, and they're going to have a terrible time. You're not going to be able to run the ball, Kentucky, and you you need to be able to run the ball. So you're going to have to pass, and that secondary has been showing up, and you're going to be you're going to be passing under incredible pressure, and it's going to be so loud. I can go ahead and tell you, you might as well count on three false starts that are going to happen, especially when you get down at that ten or fifteen yard line, and it's third and fifteen. You're not going to be able to hear yourself think. You're not going to be able to audibleize. You're not going to be able to do any of those things. It's just a huge advantage being at Neyland at night. It's a four to five point advantage at noon. It's about a seven point advantage at 3.30. At 7.30 and after, it's 10 points. There's no question because the Vols fans go nuts. They love the night game and they get the lights going and the uh, fireworks and everybody's just, it's insane. And of course, they're not, they knock back on some of grandpa's cough medicine as well. You fellas been doing a bit of boozing, have you? Sucking back on Grandpa's old cough medicine? No. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, you all know that. So, anyway, I know I'm pumped about this game. I'm sure you are. I'm sure I'll I'll be doing a pre-show and all that kind of stuff uh, tomorrow. But, anyway, if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's remember to continue to cover all these big college sports stories. And if you haven't subscribed, boom, 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 right there is a little button. Doesn't cost you a dime. Help you get my videos. And right over here is the most recent video. YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.